Power Automate, update the planet task with text from an email. This tutorial presumes you've already created a flow that creates a task in a planner when you flag an email. You can see this flow here is going to create a task that is tagged blue. And if I go into planner, I can see what this looks like. So here's my task that has been created. I can see it's got a name, which is the subject. But it's got no notes or description, which isn't very helpful. So I'm going to go back into my Power Automate flow and edit this flow to get that information from the email. To do this, I want to add an action between get my profile and create a planner. And in this case, I want to convert HTML to text. This is because emails are normally in HTML when they come through. And this doesn't look good in the planner task as it will add all this code into the email. Uh, what I want to convert is the body. So I'm going into dynamic content and choosing body. And then I'm going to leave the create a task there because that's going to create my planner task. I'm going to click on new step to update this task that I've just created with the information from the body of the email. So under choose an operation, I'm going to put in update task details. And then under task ID, if nothing comes up in the dynamic content, just type in ID first. And this should prompt it to then find the dynamic content. So then if I click in that field, I can find ID. This is a computer generated number that has been created in the previous action. And then I'm going to delete that ID. And in the description, I'm going to scroll down to that HTML to text conversion step that we just created. Note, if I put in body, it will put in all sorts of code. So that's why I want to choose the plain text content, which is that HTML to text that we just put in. Once I've done that, I can click on save and then I can test this flow. Now, because I've already run this flow before, when I test it, instead of needing to go in and flag another email, I can use an automatic trigger and use a recent trigger and select one that has succeeded and click test. Now if I go into my email task planner, once that flow has run, I find my task has been created again. And if I click on this one now, when I go in, instead of the note section being blank, I've got my email contents.